today I have the privilege of being joined by three of the Royals WPSL players, Grace Yoakum, Ali Russell, and Grace Collins. So good evening. How are you doing today? Good. 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 How are you doing? That's good. I'm doing pretty well. It's uh, pretty late over in the UK, but uh, I'm glad to have you guys on the show. Um, so we'll take it back to the very beginning. And what age did you start playing at um, AHSD? And we'll start with uh, you, Yoakum. So I started pretty young. I started when I was in third grade. So I was nine years old. Um, and then ever since then, I stuck with the club. And um, but yeah. And Grace Collins? I started when I was in fifth grade. I moved from another city and I started at Albion. Okay. And you, Ali? I started Albion, I think, when I was around like seven or eight. So pretty young. Okay, so you've basically been playing together for quite some time then through the uh, Albion Hurricanes. And um, so what are some of your fondest memories playing for AHFC? Is there any funny stories or any career highlights that you've had? Um, for me, I think one of the coolest moments was when we played the Japan national team. It wasn't their full team, but it was their like, under 14s or something, but they were still extremely good. Um, and they selected a couple of girls from each of the uh, teams to make like a Albion super team or whatever. And we all came together and we played them and we beat them four three. Um, and it was really cool. It was a really awesome experience. We played at, I think like the dynamo or the dash practice fields, uh, but yeah, it was really cool. It was one of my, my favorite memories at Albion for sure. And do any of you two girls, Grace Collins or Ali have any other uh, memories that you'd like to share? I would say most of my favorite memories from Albion come from just everyday practice like I can think of so many times just that I feel like I took for granted a little bit of just messing at practice and like joking around like with Rafa, Ben or Danny and um, I can think of one time uh, me and one of my teammates were like racing to get a penny and completely like bulldozed each other and just like laughing with the team and stuff like that that is like my best memories from Albion. And what about you Ali? I would also, I would agree with both of them. When we played the Japan U15 team, that was so much fun and a crazy experience. And it, I think it taught us a lot as players, um, especially because we were still pretty young at that time. And then also with Grace's point, practices were so much fun. And with that, something that I think I took for granted was traveling with the team because we would have so much fun at the hotels and like come up with the stupidest of games. And there's like one time I think Grace Collins might remember, but our team would like do this weird chant after we would score. And um, it's, that's probably some of my favorite memories would be traveling with the team and stuff like that. So, yeah. So you obviously had some uh, great and crazy experiences growing up with the uh, hurricanes. And how has that prepared you for the success you've had playing college soccer? Um, definitely just being around the trainers there. I mean, you have top level trainers throughout your whole career at, um, at Albion. Um, so that's been really good. And then also just practicing almost every night with club, it kind of prepares you for the commitment that's, that's required at the college level because it's intense here. And, uh, you know, you're playing a lot of us D1 collegiate soccer and it's a big deal and you have to, you have to sacrifice a lot. And so, I think in um, those early years, it kind of taught us that you're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're going to have to miss some things, uh, but it's all worth it. And so I think that's probably one of the biggest things I took away from Albion. Um, and it helped me prepare me for college. And what about you, Grace Collins? I would say the transition from club to college is really big. And I don't feel like anyone is ever truly prepared. Like, I think Albion did a great job at like developing us as players, but I think the best thing that they've done is continue to be in our lives and like supporting us still. Um, I would say that is the biggest thing that they've done for me is like continuing to support me and like they're always there for me whenever I call them and stuff. And you, Ali? Yes, I agree that they have done an amazing job keeping up with us. And not only like when we're away and when we're in college, they keep up with us, but also when we come back home and Danny Hill, for example, I'll go back and do like one-on-one -on -one sessions with him. And so it's nice that we can know, um, like we can rely on them to help us not only when we're away at college, but when we come back home and need some of that training. And then also I think preparation when we were there was just a lot of 
they we had we had a lot of talent at Albion, especially when we got older and had there was one point in time when our whole team was committed somewhere. And so they expected a lot out of us at practices and in games. And that definitely set a level like Grace was saying, you can never fully prepare yourself for college until you're there. But um, just like doing all that they could to prepare prepare us um, in practicing in games was really helpful and beneficial for us. Well, that's good to hear. And obviously, you, as your college season wrapped up now? Still going? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So obviously, still going with the college season, but what do you most look forward to um, for the upcoming Royal season in the WPSL? Just from talking with Ben about the team, we're supposed to have a really good team. Um, it's going to be a lot of talent on there, which is always fun to play with. It's um, And then we were going to have Ben and Danny coaching. So you know, with those two, it's always going to be something interesting um, at practice and at games because, you know, they're just their characters to be around. But, yeah, it, it's just going to be fun. And I think even going from, you know, playing this whole year because of COVID and everything and you having or us having to play in the spring, um, it'll just kind of be fun to mess around too, but also still have intense practices um, with Royals. So it'll be good. And you, Grace Collins? Um, I would say I'm most excited for just like the environment of it. Last summer, we didn't get to play any games, but we did do a little practice and it was so much fun. It's just always great. I think going back to Campbell Road and just, you know, Ben and Danny are there. Um, it's all the girls that, you know, we grew up with and it's a, it's t intense, but it's also very fun. So like the environment is a little different from college and it's just a lot of fun. That's what I'm most excited for. What about you, Ali? I would say I'm excited for the coaches, of course. Danny and Ben make everything just a goofy, fun time. But I would also say just the opportunity for a lot of us players that used to play together to come back and play, um, because that is something that's so exciting when you get to kind of relive some of your old um, memories and fun things like Grace is saying. Campbell Road, gotta love it. Um, but also just the opportunity to play with people from different colleges who everyone can bring something to the team. And the fact that we get to bring so many people um, from just all around to come play at Albion with WPSL is so exciting. And yeah, I'm just really, I'm pumped for the team and pumped for the opportunity. And especially be playing with Danny and Ben again, for sure. All three of you mentioned um, Dan and Ben quite a lot as uh, big characters. And obviously, you play for the British coaches there. What's it like to play under those, um, those as a duo? And can you understand their different British accents well? I have a harder time understanding Danny than I do Ben sometimes. When Danny gets really mad, he'll talk super fast. And so you have no idea what the man's <laughs> saying. So you just agree with him because you don't want to piss him off even more. Um, but, yeah, I think the whole point of that is to try not to make him mad and you'll, you'll understand what they're <laughs> saying. What about you, Grace and Ali? Something about Danny is I can never sometimes like the line between when he says guys and then grace is like, they sound the same, especially when he like gets going. So I, sometimes I don't know if he's just talking to me or if he's like talking to the whole team. And like, that's one of the main accent things for Danny, but Danny's just always so funny whenever he talks about like his career and stuff. Like I always just, it's fun to hear about. Yeah, their accents are definitely sometimes hard to understand. And they also try, they try to joke all the time. And there's moments where I'm like, I have no idea what you just said. Um, probably more often than not. But they, yeah, they're hilarious. And Danny, for sure, I would agree, is harder to understand than Ben. But they both, they're both unique characters, for sure. And um Finally, I've heard there's going to be like a shooting competition against the coaches. And when I was speaking to Dan earlier, he actually said, well, he's going to put his money where his mouth is. And if you, all three of you beat Danny and Ben, they, Danny will each pay $100 each to but all of you. And if you fail to beat them, you have to do an extra 15 minutes of fitness. How does that sound? Deal. We'll beat them. Easy. I would, I would okay. take that bet any day. <laughs> Danny hasn't worked out about what? it's always it's always on monday on my yeah. <laughs> yeah well but he seems quietly confident but um I, I believe you girls will beat him and they're uh, claiming 100 dollars each so anyway i'd like to thank you for coming on the call today and uh speaking with me and uh i hope to see you girls in action pretty soon for sure thank um, you